Well, hello there. Good morning from the dead of a fucking garage. I am in Munich today. I'm already here. Uh, I decided to go to Munich again. I went there like the beginning of last September. Also did a vlog. Today the new Marvel sets are dropping. So I decided, yeah, you know, let's go Munich. Uh, I've been to Vienna like three times in the last two and a half months. Uh, all, it's already been three months. Yeah, three months. So I decided to go to Munich today since the drive isn't actually is actually shorter than Vienna, but it's like okay, uh, COVID restrictions aren't too bad right now. I'm double vaccinated by now since my last vlog. I've been like double vaccinated for one and a half months now, so still wear your mask. Double vaccinated doesn't mean fully immune, but of course you can go stuff. Again, I'm gonna hit up the Lego store. All the Eternal sets are dropping today, as well as the free, yeah, there's free Spider-Man sets, the Sanctuary 2, and that Tumblr set from the Dark Knight. I'm thinking about getting the regular retail version. No interest in the bigger one. Yeah, but I did a bit, little bit of a miscalculation. I was like, oh, they're gonna open up at nine, just like there was in Vienna. And I got here, it's at exactly 9.30 and then I check and then, oh, they don't open until 10, so I'm here half an hour early. Could have stayed in bed longer. Well, I avoided a lot of, well, there wasn't actually that much traffic, so it's Friday and not Saturday, so I was thinking, oh, maybe some work traffic, but it wasn't too bad, so yeah, I'm just pretty much waiting in the car. I think I got like another 20 minutes before they open gonna hit up the zoo later which i'm excited about today is like one of the more nicer days we had a really rainy and cold summer like we had more cool and rainy days this summer than actually heat so it's also been pretty well it's pretty chilly in the morning it's only like seven degrees celsius not fahrenheit uh sorry i don't know how much in fahrenheit that is for the americans but yeah it's pretty chilly and um, but it does say nicer weather during the day like up to 20 celsius deg degree celsius so it's definitely one of the warmer fall days so i was like okay i'm gonna try to hit up at least this uh, i want to go to the zoo uh, somewhere because it might be one of the last really nice days of the month of the year technically it's where it's gonna get cold here in fall so yeah i'm gonna wait a little bit more and i'm gonna head in and let's see all the stuff i'm gonna buy again so i'll catch you there so uh, it's some time later i made it to the zoo the extensive haul for the lego is gonna be at the end of the video i'm gonna keep the zoo part short because i only have one battery charge left and i have an iphone so you know that how that's going i've already filmed some stuff i'm gonna play up to this clip everything I have filmed and will probably film mm. yeah all the animal houses are open again you have to wear a mask inside which is fair enough but uh, you can go again in there which you couldn't go last year so it's cool to see the inside area the monkeys have a really cool inside area heading to the uh, jungle house right now uh, next to the elephants and you can see the elephants just over right over that but uh, i think they're on the inside but yeah weather is nice for fall so that's good not too many people and yeah so enjoy the rest of the zoo footage and then i'm gonna when i'm back at home record and show all the extensive haul i got so yeah i'll see you there
At home, it's been a while. I spent like four hours at the zoo, very long this time. Um, drove home, it's like I've been home for like an hour, I will say. I just wanted to chill out for a bit. It's like 7 pm now, so let's get into the hall. Got my bag down here. Let's start it with the store stuff. I did purchase two orders, I bought all these sets and then I still went to the pick a brick wall and some build a minifigure stations and I was able to get like 35 euros off there so I spent saved some money there uh, first we got some free stuff, I got this snail poly bag and then this green guy poly bag, I got two of those because I have made two purchases we have some build a minifig station. These were pre made like this, but I managed to get a nice selection of free packs with all the stuff I wanted. They have some new pieces in there. I got like a teal brick suit girl with the balloon animal from one of the CMF, the uh, scientist, some scientist guy with that hidden side hairpiece, some dual molded white and black arms and legs. Really useful. I actually got two of him and also this cowboy guy he has the pig in the bright pink from like the big pirate space set and also some dual molded legs and here we got another one of the scientists his snowboarder which i think oh it actually has death star trooper legs a useful leg print the torso i think is exclusive i never owned one of those snow hat pieces so that's exciting and an exclusive printed snowboard so that's cool then this shark guy, well it's kind of the suit which has come in a modular before but he has the ice cream in a dark trans blue which I don't think I have, I don't think, think I, it might be exclusive, I don't know the shark headpiece from the shark suit guy and then his legs are the one from Harry Potter, from like Fleur, from that um, the, what's it called, my English is flanking the carriage with the two pegasus so really nice parts back here then we have some more 
Um, I think that hairpiece in that color is exclusive. I don't know. Umbrella piece useful as a really useful leg print. So some uh, grayish blue legs with some print on there. With this little girl with I think an exclusive build a mini fix station torso print. The Rex danger vest hair in a uh, regular brown. So that is exclusive. And some dual molded teal and yellow legs. So that's really cool. And also this skeleton. A day of the dead kind of guy with a sombrero print which i don't think don't know if it is exclusive but he has like a torso print with the skeleton underneath and then the jacket over it so some uh i'm probably gonna butcher the name the mexican holiday the day of day of the dead so that's pretty cool and also the getting the guitar piece so these are like great minifig pieces so I've talked enough about those i got an entire these are all uh, pick a brick wall pieces. Uh, the guy asked me if I wanted to have a bag or two cups, but they already have like eight cups, but they're all full because I still need to sort those pieces from like three weeks ago. So, yeah, uh, this is basically a two full big uh, cups of pick a brick. If you want to see them, I'll probably end up posting them on my Instagram story when I'm sorting them. Also, got some like with each pick a brick cup, you get the free handful of pieces and I went for the bigger pieces instead you want uh, really you get your buck your bank for a buck there so all pieces and now uh, again got two of each of those poly bags just nice little parts back uh, sort out all those pieces then starting off with the sets only these C sets I got the new Tumblr, which is a pretty cool set that they released this for me Dark Knight as a regular set. I have no interest in the bigger ones, but as a regular minifig size set, getting the Bale Batman as a minifigure. Oh, well, I've gotten him, but getting him in again since I don't own him, and these Scarecrow are pretty cool, and I really like the design of this Tumblr Batmobile, so that's a great set to have. Next up we have the Sanctum Sanctorum, which I'm real excited for, some great minifigures, the Spider-Man, Doctor Strange and Wong, Doctor Strange is definitely my favorite, so I'm probably gonna build this one first, so we'll see, we have that, then we have the other two Spider-Man sets, the 4 plus set, which is, out, well it has the red and black suit Spider-Man and the updated Mysterio, which are great figures, Nick Fury is the same old, but yeah, probably a bit expensive for 20 bucks, but I, I, I already got everything, so why not? This set with the drone, which is outside of the gold piece, is pretty uninteresting, but I really like the new Spider-Man and the updated version of Vulture from Homecoming is a really nice head print, so excited to get this one. The last, probably, for this year, Infinity Saga set, the Sanctuary 2, which some people really don't like this build. It's cool that we're getting the ship, of, it's kind of a macro fighter scale for, because it's such a big ship, but it's still a nice looking model, and I really like the Captain Marvel and the minifig version of Endgame Thanos, so that's pretty dope. And then we have four more, the Eternal sets, with the smallest one with sprite and vicarious then we have the medium sized one i really like the build for that one and also the figures look really great i'm excited to get all of those out there second to last this one also a really exciting one the i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that one you can read for yourself but again, the Celeste Hill is such a cool build and a really nice selection of minifigures as well. We get Kingo, Kingo, which is played by uh, Kumail Majiaman. Man. How do you say his name? I think the actor even said. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. He's a pretty funny dude, so it's cool seeing him in the MCU movie. And lastly, we got the Rise of the Domo. The, uh, the big Dorito Triangle Illuminati ship, whatever you want to call it. 
it's actually a pretty cool design i like all the big printed pieces hopefully those are printed because putting this as stickers on that's uh, yeah it's definitely printed it's the same print three times so they're not gonna make you put those stickers on but yeah another nice selection of figures and the ship itself looks pretty cool and with that that wraps up the haul big empty bag i spent like mm, all those marvel sets were like 320 plus 40 for the tumblr so 36 360 uh bucks euros and then uh, spent like 20 more on all the figures and pick a brick but i already had, but i was able to get since i bought those before i was able to get the vip points immediately and i got like 35 euros off so i pretty much got all the pick a brick pieces for free so that's pretty nice uh, yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna quickly put them all together for a nice shot and then we're gonna wrap this one up all right so here we have pretty much everything it's barely fitting all onto my table Let's see put out the uh pick a brick pieces so i can see a bit what i forgot there's some bunch of really cool parts so yeah that's today's haul pretty successful if i say so myself excited to build all of those over the weekend so yeah with that thanks for watching and i'm gonna wrap this one up see you in the next one bye guys